Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install and set up Oracle Java on your Ubuntu operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for install Oracle Java and the first link which will appear here will be from oracle.com forward slash Java forward slash technologies forward slash download. I'm going to put this link in the description also. Just click on this link and then you can see this kind of web page here. I'm going to click on accept all. And then when I scroll down at the time of making this video, Java 22 is the latest version of Java, which is available. Now, when I scroll a little bit more down here, I can see the Linux option. So just select the Linux option. And for the Ubuntu operating system, we are going to download the Debian package, which is this one which ends with the .deb extension. So I'm going to click on this uh, link, which is going to download this .deb file. So once this .deb file is downloaded, I'm going to just uh, minimize this uh, browser and then I'm going to open the terminal. To open the terminal, you just need to click on this show apps icon and then click on terminal here, which is going to open your terminal. Now we are going to navigate to our downloads folder by typing CD and then write download here. Just write capital D O W and then press tab key, which is going to auto complete the name of your folder. And here you can just write LS and it's going to show you all the files which are there in the downloads folder. I have this uh, .deb file for JDK, which we have downloaded, right? To install Java using this .deb file, you just need to uh, give this command, which is sudo dpkg and then space hyphen i and the name of this file. Just write jdk here and then press tab key, which is going to autocomplete the file name. Press enter and provide the password, which you use to log into your Ubuntu operating system and then press enter once again, which is going to start the installation of this package. Once this command is finished, you can see uh, it has also used this update alternatives command to set up our Java version. So this update alternative command is used to uh, manage the different versions of Java. So if you want to set the different version of Java, for example, if you have installed Open JDK and Oracle Java JDK, you can switch between these two versions using the update alternatives command. But for now, we only have the Oracle Java. So uh, Update Alternatives has set the Oracle Java as the default Java version for us automatically when we have given this command, right? You can also observe that the path of Java is this one, right? So it's user forward slash lib forward slash JVM forward slash JDK, whatever version you have installed. So it can be uh, a different version in your case. If you are watching this video somewhere in future, hyphen Oracle hyphen X64. So this will be the path of the Java JDK folder. Okay. Now let's check the version of Java we have installed. So I'm going to just uh, close this terminal and reopen the terminal once again. And now we are going to just give this command, which is Java space hyphen hyphen version and then press enter. And you can see the Java 22.0.1 is the version we have installed. And this is the version we have downloaded also. Okay. You can also give this command, which is which space Java. And it's going to give you this location because as I mentioned earlier, the command for installation of Java will also set the Java version and set the Java path to this path using the update alternatives command, right? So we have seen that that installation command has also ran the update alternatives command and that command has set the link between the Java JDK folder and this folder. Okay. So whenever you use which Java, it will be always this one. If you use open JDK, for example, 
then you also once again need to use update alternatives and set this path to open JDK uh, Java folder. Now let's also try to set the Java home environment variable which is required by some of the Java based applications, right? So to set the Java home environment variable, what you need to do is, let me just clear the terminal here. So here in the terminal, just write sudo and then write nano or whatever editor you want to use and then write space forward slash etc forward slash environment and then press enter and it's going to open this kind of uh, file here on the next line just write java underscore home all in capital is equal to and then give these double quotes here and then we need to provide the path of our java jdk folder which we have installed right so for that i'm going to open the new terminal here just to show where is this location so just write ls forward slash usr forward slash lib forward slash jvm and then press enter here and here you will see the jdk folder name right so you need to give this path plus this path so basically it's the path which is this path and you can see there is this bin file and all the other files are available here so, so we need to copy the path of this folder just right click and copy this path and go to the previous terminal where we have used the nano command and then here just press Control shift v to paste your path and now to uh, save your changes just press Control o and then press enter and then to exit just press Control x and you are out of your nano editor once again you can give this uh, same nano command and this time you will see that this path is available here that means our file is properly saved once again uh, just press Control x to come out of this editor so now once the java home environment variable is set you just need to give this command which is source forward slash etc forward slash environment and once that's done then we can check the java home environment value by just uh, typing echo command so just type echo dollar java underscore home here and then press enter and it's going to give you the path of your java directory okay now let me also show you how you can uh, compile and run a java program using the java command line utility so i'm going to uh, close all these terminals here and then i'm going to open this folder explorer and let's say I want to uh, create my Java projects in my documents folder here I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to name this folder as let's say demo folder and inside this demo folder I want to create my Java program and Java files right here I can just right click and then I can click on open in terminal which is going to open this folder in the terminal so what I have done is I have placed my terminal and the demo folder side by side so that we can see the changes in this folder right so first of all I'm going to create a file with the name uh, hello world.java you can use the touch command to create this file so just write touch hello world.java and then press enter it's going to create this hello world.java file you can see the file is created using the touch command now in order to uh, write some code inside this file you can use any editor of your choice for now we are going to use nano again so just write nano and the name of the file which is hello world just type capital H E here and then press tab key which is going to auto complete the file name and then press enter and we have opened this file using the nano here you just need to uh, paste a very simple hello world uh, java program so here i have just uh, pasted this very simple hello world program for java and this program you can find anywhere on internet 
the main point here is you need to write the name of the class same as the name of the file, right? So my file name is hello world and the class name is also hello world here. Okay, so you just need to remember this. If you have created the file name test.java, then write test here in the class name. Also, I will recommend that you uh, write the name of your class with the capital letter, right? So in my case, I have used capital H here. If I have uh, created the test.java file, then the T will be capital here, okay? Once the program is created, then press Control O and then press Enter to save your code and then press Control X to come out of the nano editor. Once again, you can give this command and verify that your program is saved and then press uh, Control X to come out of this um, nano editor. And now to run your code, you can write this command, which is java c so java c command we can use to compile any java file right so i'm using java c command and and then the name of your java file so just write capital h and then press tab key which is going to auto complete the name of the file and then press enter and it's going to create this hello dot class here so our program is successfully compiled and it has created this hello dot class now in order to run this file, you can use the Java command. So just write Java and the name of your uh, compiled binary file. So you just need to give the name hello world here without dot class here. So, so just write hello world and then press enter and it's going to give you the output of our program, right? Which is hello world here. So this is how you can compile and run your Java program using the command line. So this is how you can install and set up Java on your Ubuntu operating system and also compile your Java program using the Java C and Java commands on your Ubuntu operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.